let's add the final touches on this amazing model. So let's uh, add in this material like so. Let's press the tab button and hey presto, my amazing looking rocket. Now all there's left to do is I need to add a wing on this side and this side, but how do I do that? Well, I heard somewhere that someone told me about the mirror modifier, so let's give that a try. I also heard that this little spanner here is where it can be found. So let's come over and let's bring in a mirror modifier. And yeah, that's not what I want. Um, let's change the axis maybe. Um, no, that's not quite right. And um, let's change the axis. Maybe it's on the Z axis. What the? Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, and if you're like me, in the beginning when I first started out, I could not get my head around the mirror modifier, and I just didn't understand how it worked. So I'm here to show you that it's no, it's not broken, and this is how it actually works. So first of all, let's just uh, actually delete the modifier, and let's have a look why it's not working. And the reason why it's not working is you can see the little yellow dot here. This is the origin of the rocket. Now the origin, if you want it joined in the center, needs to be in the center. So how would we join this rocket to make a actual wing on the other side and also this booster on the end of it? So let me show you that. First of all, let's uh, press Control A, come down to where it says all transforms, and then what you're doing is basically telling Blender that you wanna reset all the transforms so that Blender understands A, whereabouts this rocket is in within the viewport, so basically in space, and B, that this rocket is not a cylinder or a cube, this is actually the shape of the rocket. So you're basically telling Blender, hey, this is what the rocket looks like, so you need to actually treat it accordingly. Now, as you can see when I did that, it actually put the origin right bang in the center of the world, and that's what it normally does. Now, for instance, if you don't want your origin in the middle of the world, all you need to do is you need to press Shift, right click to move your cursor, and then what you can do is you can right click, set origin to 3D cursor. So then you can have your origin over here somewhere if you want. The other thing, of course, is we can put it right in the center of world by pressing Shift S, cursor to world origin, and then right click, set origin, you guessed it, to 3D cursor, and there we are, the origin's right in the center. Now, if we bring in our actual modifier, so let's bring in our mirror modifier now, now you can see we're actually getting somewhere. The only problem is when we move this now, you can see it's all moving together. So the easiest way to deal with that is just by pressing the tab button, pressing A to grab everything, and now you can bring them closer together. You can also come down and put on clipping because if you don't have that on, as you'll see, I'll join them together. And then you'll see that they actually overlap into each other. And now I can pull them apart. And I don't really want that. So if I bring on clipping and then bring them closer together, you'll notice that they actually start to merge all of those edges to each other. So I'm just going to join them all up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press tab now, come over, press control A. And now you'll see when I press tab that they're all joined together and they're merged really, really nicely. Now, the other way that you can do this, if I go back, so press Control Z, like so, what you can actually do is instead of basing it on a axis like this, you can actually base it on an actual object. So the easiest object to use is Shift A, come down and actually use an empty plain axis. And this is because Blender, when you render it out, will not be able to see this actual empty because that's why they're called empties. So now we can go back to our mirror and we can base it on our actual empty. And now when I grab my empty, you'll see that I can move it wherever I want to in actual object mode. Now there are a few problems with the empty way of doing it. And for instance, I'll show you what they are. So if I bring this close together like so, and then join it oh, like that. So it's about the same as what we had in the other one. If then we click on our rocket, come over to our mirror modifier, Make sure clipping is on, so I'm just gonna bring it out again. So I'll grab my empty, which is here, pull it out again, and then pull it together, because clipping's on. You would think that when I come to apply my mirror modifier on my rocket, so Control A, that everything would be okay. But, as you can see, no, it's not. You can see that we've got actual um, mesh hidden behind other parts of meshes. So how do we get rid of that in case we do do it this way? Well, if you come up to mesh, and you come down to where it says clean up, go across and then come down to merge by distance. And you'll notice at the moment it says remove zero vertices. But as I turn this up, you'll see 
14 vertices removed. And basically what it's doing now is actually cleaning up all of those vertices and joining them all together. Now sometimes, as you can see, this can get a bit messy. So you have to be very careful when you're actually doing that. For instance, how this is joined at the moment, you can see we've got a big gap there and Blender's finding it really, really hard to actually do that, but it will try its best on actually cleaning this up. So that is the way that you can join something together using an actual object and the way that mirror modifier works. So I hope you enjoyed that everyone. And if you did, give me a like, give me a comment down below about what you'd like to see in these Blender's Not Broken series. And if you want to support the channel or see more about what I actually do, check out the links down below. Okay, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy modeling. Bye-bye.